Pele tu i Afrika. Pambiri ne wondo Zimbabwe pambiri. I am Brigadier General Retired Samuel John Makatumutau. I am a member of the Pan African Congress of Azania National Executive Committee. I am my designation is Secretary for Foreign Affairs. I am here today because today it is a day that Zimbabwe has declared to be October 25 as a day of anti-sanctions. They are calling that sanctions, the illegal sanctions imposed by the Americans against their government and their country must be stopped. They must be stopped right now. And we are supporting that. These sanctions have been imposed illegally by the Americans. So the PAC say a relationship that goes far back during our liberation struggle with Zimbabwe. We were part and parcel with ZANU PF in the trenches during the Liberation War. When Zimbabwe got independence, we were hosted by Zimbabwe. Therefore, when Zimbabwe is suffering, because we are Pan Africanists, we are saying any country of Africa that is suffering or under any oppression or under any sanctions, it affects us. Therefore, if one of us is suffering, we are also suffering. And the result is actually what we are seeing in South Africa currently. Because everyone of Zimbabwe is trying to find a way of living, a, a way of surviving, and the only place to come is South Africa. The economy of South Africa is unable to cater for all people in this country, and the country must also develop. So we are here to say to America, stop your illegal sanctions now. Because we are also saying to America, they cannot decide on their own unilaterally, and even be against what the UN has said. The UN has said these sanctions are illegal and they must be stopped. So America is in defiance of the, Amer of the United Nations. So who are they to declare themselves the police of the world when they are the worst abusers of human rights internally in America? So we say they have no right to decide for any nation. In Africa, we say Africa for the Africans. America must belong to the Americans, so they must keep out of our continent. They are the source of all the sufferings in Africa. They have been the suffering throughout our colonial years. They, we fought the wars of liberation. They are now imposing themselves with sanctions. Sanctions to us, it is a method disguised to continue the war they've been uh, e executing in our countries. Sanctions are just a weapon that they don't want to put their troops on the ground, but they are doing exactly the same effect. Saddam Hussein was killed by the Americans when they invaded. Now the world was against them. So they are aware that now if they do the same thing they did it in Libya, they are no, now the, the world will come against them. So they are using sanctions as a weapon, and we are saying they must stop the sanctions. And what's your message to Zimbabwe, and especially those in the opposition that seem to be supporting the sanctions against their country? We are Pan Africanists, and we are saying the unity of Africa and the unity of all people of Africa is the only way because we have been divided by the colonialists and they have been dividing us through smaller parties in our OS opposition. They have been dividing us in race, they have been dividing us in tribal lines. We are saying the quicker we understand that we are one people, Africa becoming one united force. It's only Pan-Africanism of a united Africa that can see us being able to stand against these superpowers. They are call, they calling themselves superpowers. Who allotted them that? Who give them the right to be unequal to other nations? And when they get into the United Nations, they say we are equal. And they have what they call veto powers. Who gave them those powers? They must be equal like us. So our struggle against sanctions is not only against sanctions. It's against the inequality and the oppression that they are still uh, executing in our countries. Thank you. Thank you.